and you'll be surprised at the power of Christ over nature simply by his presence and what men can do. Choose it and do it, and God will surely bless you. It's a plum pleasure to come into your living room, wherever you are, however you are, to come and share the bread of living word from the ovens of heaven. For those whom we haven't met, Jeff is my name. I'm minister of the Presbyterian Church of East Africa, Kia Madare Parish in Gedongori sub-county. It is a plum pleasure to mingle this one more time as we take surprise, surprise, part four. And you'll be surprised at the power of Christ over nature simply by his presence and what men can do when they choose to do it. So if you are a man, choose it and do it and God will surely bless you. We'll take the reading from the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 14. Our chapter, the closing two verses, verse 35 and verse 36. And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent him to all the surrounding district and brought to him all who were ill. And they began to entreat him, saying that they might just touch the fringe of his cloak, and as many as touched it were cured. So tell yourself, I'll touch it. Nicer than that, I'll touch it. Touch! Let us pray. Gracious Father in heaven, we are thankful for being together with us. Thank you for this wonderful morning that you've given unto us. Speak to us your living word in the brevity of time availed. And above all else, build us into that faith that we need to recognize you, to serve you, and to touch you. This is indeed our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. We begin telling the story where Jesus, just by his presence in the boat, even nature, calmed down. The sea calmed down, the wind stopped blowing, they were glad that he was present where they were. And so I'm telling you this morning that when you have Christ in your life, when you have Christ present with you, even the unseen settles. Your past cannot haunt you, your mistakes will not chase you, because you got Christ in your life, everything comes down. You are forgiven. Everything is settled. It is calm, calm, calm. So have Christ in your life. It doesn't matter what you are going through, whether it's politics, whether it's economics, whether it's lockdown, however it is. When Christ gets into your life, just by his presence, everything obeys him. Everything calms down. No more blood pressure, no more hiking sugar levels, just being glad that Christ is in your life, it is going to be well. And they arrived on the beach, they crossed over to the other side of the sea, and when they landed, the men, and I would like you to underline that, the men, the males in that region recognized him. They knew who he was. So the second surprise this morning is recognize Christ. When he appears, recognize him for what he has done in the past. Remember, in the boat, they had the 12 baskets as evidence of what Christ has done. The men had had. They recognized what they had had. The word became flesh. It was durable. It was tangible. It could be touched. So this morning, recognize Christ 
in the vicinity of where you are. There was sick people in that community. There are people who were ill. There are people who needed the touch of Christ. Now that they recognized him for who he was, they were able to go out and bring the sick, the ill to him. So this morning, when you recognize Christ for who he is, then you stop being selfish. You stop being desiring just to, be, to have him to yourself. You desire him to do for others what he has done for you or what you have had he has done. The men went out. So surprise, surprise. Men, this morning, the ball is in your court. How many people have you called to Christ? How many people have you called to come and just touch the hem of his garment? How many unwell people? In this era of COVID, when people are unwell, mentally and psychologically, how many have you pointed to Christ? How many have you persuaded? Come to him. Come to the Savior. Make no delay. Because he's a Savior that you have recognized yourself. It was a personal thing for them to do and they did it. And when they recognized who he was and they saw the trouble that they had in the community, then they knew that their troubles were settled. They went for the sick and brought them. Brought them to Christ. And when they brought them to Christ, all they wanted to do was to touch the fringe or the hem of his garment. The edges of his prayer shawl. That's all they needed to touch. That's all they desired to touch. Just to touch. Surprise, surprise. There is enough of Christ to go around each one of us. So, as many as touched, they were made whole and complete. So my brothers and sisters, this morning, all it takes for your troubles to go away is to touch. Is to stretch, stretch out your hand and touch. Is to stretch out your hand and touch just the edge of his garment. Not even the whole garment, just the edge of his garment. Just to touch. A touch of faith. A touch by faith. Don't stay folded. Don't stay worried. Don't stay creased up. Don't stay whatever the word that you want to put in. Just put it in. Just know all it takes is for you to stretch and touch the edge of his garment. Just to make that personal connection with Jesus Christ. And his power flows to you. So what is stopping you from touching the edge of his garment for the sake of your business? Touch the edge of his garment for the sake of your family. Touch the edge of his garment for the sake of the nation. Touch the edge of his garment for the sake of COVID-19. Touch the edge of his garment for sanity wherever you are. All it takes is a touch. As many as touched, they were cured. They were made whole. They were made complete. There is enough of Christ for all of us. Let us not fight about it. Just touch your bit. I touch my bit. And surprise, surprise, the power that is over nature the power that is over disease, the power that is over any calamity will get into your life and your life will never be the same again. So surprise, surprise. The reason it has not happened, you have not touched the hem of his garment by faith. Just stretch out your hand and touch and you will be made whole and complete. Let us pray. Gracious Father in heaven, we are thankful for reminding us this morning that all we need to do is to stretch and touch and believe and our issues will be solved. So help us to have faith sufficient to touch. 
because as many as touch, as many will be made whole and complete and our troubles go away. So help us, dear Lord, to have that faith. For the sake of Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Stretch, touch, believe, be made whole. And now I commend you into the hands of the living God, who alone is able to keep you and to sustain you. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May the Lord God cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord God lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. And may that peace of God that surpasses human understanding keep your faith intact in the knowledge that all you need to do is to stretch, touch, and believe. And everything is going to be well. And may this blessing be yours and the ones you love, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Stretch, touch, behold. Amen.